hello guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we shall talk about the self-organizing list if you have not yet subscribed to our channel then please do so in order to watch more such videos so let us get started why should we care about using the self-organizing link list in a link list we have a search time of order of n okay and we want to improve it to something less than order of n in order to do so we had already discussed a skip list method and now we are discussing the self-organizing list if you want to see that skip list video then please click on the i button so the goal is to improve the search time in a linked list and skip list was an alternative solution here the idea is to put the more frequently assessed item close to head therefore in order to decrease the total assess time like if we have a linked list say one two three okay and we know that if 3 is assessed 10 times, this 2 is assessed 2 times and 1 is assessed 3 times, then what can we do is we can rearrange it like 3, 1, 2 so that if 3 is the head, then we can assess 3 in order of 1 time and so on. Okay. So if we arrange it in decreasing order, then the time complexity will greatly reduce. But in order to do so, we need the information about all the SSS prior to assessing any node that means offline inputs that means we know about all the inputs prior to even assessing any node okay but in practice we usually get the real-time inputs that means the online inputs we don't have any information about the future inputs okay so we have three proposed methods in order to solve this real-time SSS we will talk about it later this self-organizing list works on the principle of locality of reference and it says that 80% of the SSS is done from 20% of the nodes. Okay, so if we can just move forward those nodes which are being assessed, then it is assumed that they will be assessed even more in the future. So it says that if a node is frequently assessed up till now, then it will be frequently assessed in the future as well. This is the locality of reference. And this self-organizing list applies this by reordering the nodes based on the searches done. That means if we are assessing some node, if it is 1, 2 and 3, if 3 is being assessed, then it should move more towards the head so that its frequency is increasing and as soon as its frequency increases it will keep on moving towards the head so that it is expected to be assessed even more frequently in the future and if it is closer to head then its time complexity of search will decrease so this is the idea behind the self-organizing list so let us talk about the three methods first method is the move to front method so what does this move to front says move the current assessed item to the front or head so suppose we are assessing this fourth, okay, our head was at one, this is our head, we are assessing say four. So this method says that whenever we are assessing some node, then it is expected that the next assess will be from the same node as well. So what this process will do is this process will just unlink this, we'll link it together and we'll move this four to one and we'll point this head to four. So what it is doing is it is just removing this element which was being assessed and is putting it back just before the head and is updating this head. So this link list is updated. So this method is assuming that the most recent assess will be the most recent assess in the future as well. And so moving this node to the front will greatly improve our time complexity. Okay. But it can over reward an infrequently assessed item suppose we had a total of 100 SSS and out of this 100 SSS 4 was assessed 2 times ok so for these 2 times 4 will move to head irrespective of whether it is frequently assessed or infrequently assessed so this is like over rewarding someone ok so this method is not so appropriate so now let us look at the count method so what does this count method say is that for each structure we will have an extra variable which will store the count of the frequency of that node okay frequency of ss of that node 
so whenever we assess a node its count value will get increased so let us take a simple array it is stored in each structure i am just taking array for simplicity initially every ss is zero suppose we are assessing this three then its ss frequency will increase to one again suppose we are assessing four then its frequency will increase to one again if three then it will increase to two and like this the count will keep on updating okay so this method says that we will arrange this linked list in descending order of the frequency of the SSS. So after each SS, this linked list will be rearranged and the appropriate node will be put to appropriate place. And suppose after this SS, we want to arrange it, then the linked list will look like this 3, 4 and then 1 or 2 or we can even put 2 or 1 but we are maintaining the order here so this linked list will look like 3 4 1 and 2 so a downside of this method count method is that it requires extra space at each node okay the third method is the transpose method okay transpose method and it says that the current assessed node is swapped with the previous node suppose we are assessing this 4 our head was at 1 suppose we are assessing this 4 then according to our move to front method this 4 would have moved to 1 but according to this method this 4 will be swapped with this previous element so it will look like this 4 3 and then 5 okay so it will look like this it is just pushing the element more closer to the head and if this element is more frequently assessed then it will move even closer to head and so it is like rewarding someone which is working very hard very slowly okay so if you continuously keep working hard then you will get paid slowly slowly you will be rewarded and finally you will reach your goal that is the head the point of this algorithm is this only on one hand we have this move to front method which says that if you have done only a single good deed then you will hit a jackpot and on the other hand this transpose method is saying that if you continuously keep on doing good deeds then you will be rewarded slowly and slowly and at the end of your life you will hit your jackpot so this move to front is a fast method and this transpose one is a slower method and this count method is based on the frequency so let us see the time complexity the time complexity will still be order of n why why because after each reordering we can give the next ss such that that will only be the last element suppose we have uh, rearranged this according to the frequency okay like this now the next ss can be 2 and so the last element will be assessed and even if it is rearranged then this one will come last okay after rearrangement this will look like 2 and 1 now the next query or the next assess can be 1 so again the last element is assessed like this if we always keep on assessing the last element then the time complexity will be order of n every time okay so this is all about self-organizing list. I hope you like this video. If this was helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe in order to help us. And if you have any problem then please comment below. See you in our next video. Thank you.